Hi Five Family, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Next, let's go to the table where we see some Russian tradition. You know, uh, let's go and talk to them. I don't know so much about Russia, but I'm sure we are going to learn one or two things they're going to explain to us. We are also going to see some Russian dances. So let's go and check them out. It is your girl. having the school universe ball when you're going to not meet us we're in Russia doing these performances. A big round of applause for us from Russia, ladies and gentlemen.
ladies and gentlemen. You can just hold it or? So you can see these, um, so these are the clothes they put on when they have anything important or any important venue. So like uh, whenever something big is happening, they have this. So as you can see, like among uh, our fellow students, my fellow students actually, so to say, so they are wearing the same clothes. Yes. <laughs> so these are the clothes they wear. So these are their cultural uh, clothes they wear. So uh, and then when you come back here, you see this on the pictures here that are taken from the Russian house in Osaka. So there are these students, um, yeah, um, these students, and there are also uh, some um, <coughs> some gifts here. So in Russia, you need to have a gift when you're attending a party. For example, you want to go to a wedding. You can't go there like with bare hands, no. So you have to go <laughs> with a gift there. So when you go with a gift there, then you don't need to go with a uh, gift in even numbers, like two, four, six, no. So the gifts in even numbers, they represent the sign of death. It's not supposed to be like that. So if, what? Yes. So if you don't have money, just have to. So like how should we go with the gifts? Yes. You don't have to buy one. Three, how many should we buy? Like maybe one, three, five. It's supposed to be with odd numbers, not even numbers. No. I'm not understanding. Yes. I'm not understanding. <laughs> Gifts in even numbers are considered a sign of death. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have money, just buy one flower. That's very because in Russia they they live in um, the life of gifts. So whether you are worthy, whether you someone is poor and then someone comes with give one gift, don't say no. You can just keep it. No. Just okay. Have to accept it. All right. First, let me get this thing. Maybe even part of my people they might be confused here. If I go with wine, a bottle of wine, that is wrong. Bottle of wine. Yeah. No, it's not wrong. Actually, in Russia, there's this alcohol they drink because in, you know in Russia it's kind of cold. That's why they drink a lot of. You can see here, like this boy here, mm -hmm. he has this pot or kettle. That's where they put their tea. So they mostly drink tea and vodka. Oh. There's okay. The alcohol which is common there, which is called vodka. And vodka okay. there is only allowed to drink in. <laughs> Two small cups. When you take two there, you feel the warmth in you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes, yes. like, yeah. So vodka is what is commonly uh, found there. So there's no problem. Feels clean. A very good example. Of flowers. Feels good yeah. in front. Yes. Flowers yeah. To, to your date or something. Yes. Uh huh. So, you know, like, you don't take two. Okay. So that is going to be considered uh, as an insult. Yes. Okay. Like yeah, uh, yeah. You're bringing gay to that family. Yes. So you okay. take uh, the flowers in even in odd numbers. Uh, three. Five, six, eight. You just oh, see people crying. Like, upon your arrival, they see you with two flowers. They start crying because okay. it's like bad luck. Sign of bad luck. Okay. So yeah. that is not actually uh, uh, like, well, maybe like, uh, advice to people. <laughs> and then oh my God! Yeah, these, are, these are the facts that like people, you know, like people from us Zambians, we don't understand. Because even when you are you want to enter someone's house, uh -huh. you know, you have to leave your shoes outside. You don't enter. With You're your right shoes. here. Yeah. What happens if I enter with my shoes? Um, they'll chase you. They'll chase you. Because in Russia, only a maid is very expensive, yeah. unlike in yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I think I think maids are one of the most paid employees in Russia. Yeah. So if a family has a mate and they are very very well mm -hmm. and like doctors Whoa, 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 we should travel to Russia, we become mates for a month, we make money. Yes, it's very interesting otherwise. <laughs> okay, any yes. other so interesting this, Yeah, this thing here, it looks like a chimney, but it's not a chimney. Mm -hmm. So this can be this long in the house. So upon entering the Russian house, you see this thing inside. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing they put food, their food, like, you know, so that it can be warm. Okay. To keep their okay. food warm. Okay. Yes. I see. I see. So. So they put like firewood there or what? No, no, no. They don't put anything. Just like this. Just like this. It, yes. Oh, like, it will still keep warm. Yes, still keep warm. Like, okay. There are, there are things they put there like plastic so that they can keep the. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. And they also. So inside in this here, they don't like build everything. They leave some place with a vacuum inside, okay. right. so that it can be like a flask, so to say. Right. Yes. See. So you can put your things there, you can, you can see this, and you can see here. It's, it's amazing, amazing, yes. amazing. And um, there is also this thing, it's called the Maturiosky door. Yes. What is that? A Maturiosky door. What does it do? So a Maturiosky door is 
a door which represents the importance of women and also of a spiritual, like it symbolizes the you know spiritual part in Russia. Mm -hmm. you know, like, um, so this mattress door, it's it's here. If you see in most of these here, this child here is holding it. Mm -hmm. So if you can see, it's also supposed to be this one. Then um, other tables here. So you see. Why so, is it found everywhere? Why is it found? Because it's very important, it's very garden. Yeah, it is. You know, like, yeah. Physically, here it is. So, you know, so it has many so, layers in it. Yes. Oh, so this, yeah, it also represents, you know, the importance of women, like reproduction. The so, oh, they reproduct. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it so, makes it. Oh, even the baby. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Is there another baby inside uh, the no, baby? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's the last oh, baby. Yeah, no, they, they there is a baby. One, there is another baby inside, right? No, no, no. no. So this one is like direct spiritual. For human beings and to go. I so like it's that also one. attached to one of the one of the interesting facts <laughs> in Russia to everyone. Let me say not only men alone. Okay. You know men, but men will be more interested in this one. Okay. That there are nine million more women as compared to men. Oh because my god! Yes. Because they don't recommend uh, women to do any tambo. They, they just sit home. Yes, yeah, just sit home because of this matriarchal thing that you're seeing. So oh. it's very, very, very important. That's why in most of things it's not a man you see. Okay. So they put this like um, you know they <laughs> They will tell women like you should hold back. Even this time when they don't take to women They don't? It's, yeah, no. So you don't it's find men. you don't find uh, women no. in war. So no. men, army, no. No. Wow. But not war. Okay. Of this thing. Wow. They are regarded as for reproduction. Because if you take women there, then who's going to produce soldiers? There will be no one. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> be no one so I like that example. Who's going to produce soldiers? <laughs> so, yeah, so it's also about protection. You know, okay. Women are very, very, very important. Yes, yes. You don't yes. have to joke with them anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are taking what you are saying as well. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, very, very much. Okay. So, yeah, so you can see, this is also, these are things they put like uh, sugar inside. Mm -hmm. Because in Russia, when someone puts tea here, they put plain tea. Sometimes, you know, they like eating sweet things. This is a bit missing here. But as plates are going behind, maybe they, they put some in the hill or something. Mm -hmm. So like, they put sweet in the plate, so you put a sweet in your mouth. What do you mean, a sweet? The same sweet? Yeah, the, the same sweet. So they, they like sweet things. Sweet. They Yeah, they, they had sweets. So okay. when you put in the mouth there, then you can be drinking some tea. As you are drinking, the sweet is acting as sugar in the It tea. will be melting while drinking yes, the tea. it's acting as sugar, otherwise, because mostly they don't like putting sugar in the tea. Okay, all right. Yes. Amazing. So they just drink the corn tea. Then, uh, when they are eating, they like eating fruit as well, as you can see here. Healthy also living. Like cucumbers. Cucumbers, yes. yeah, wow, amazing. <laughs> they, they like that. Otherwise, this is all about Thank you so much. I love the way you've explained it. Amazing. What is your name, please? So my name is Timothy Zulu. Yes, actually, yeah. Where are you found? What do you do? So um, I stay in Apex Chalala. Okay. Yes, the aunt. Yes, she's going to have my name. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, I'm a student at the Russian house. So oh. actually I'm representing my school. Oh wow, so amazing. Amazing. That's amazing. I hope to see one of the people that will be going to Russia. Yeah, but for me I'm going to Russia next year. Next okay. Year. Yeah, okay. This year I'm not going to I have to upgrade on the Russian language. Okay. I can speak Russian, but not that much. Okay. I, know, I, know I can cope with someone, I can greet someone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some, some, some stuff, but not every day. Sure, we'll meet you in Russia there. Thank you so much.